how do you anticipate the actual adoption of this, these technologies and how will it affect the relationship between clients and data providers? That's a great question. So we're seeing, especially with the move to cloud and you've got data sharing and all these concepts that are running in the cloud databases, Snowflake, Databricks, they're all supporting this concept of data sharing. And what that means is data doesn't have to be materialized anymore. I don't have to write APIs to go get access to my data, right? It's just there, you, you, you provision it and the data is in your account and you can start working on it. It's an amazing transformation for people that are in the data business. Um, it also means that there's a, a move towards getting bite-sized pieces of your data. Like you don't have to buy the entire data source anymore. You can buy what you're, you know, what you're ultimately using. So from an economic standpoint over time, it should be much more efficient as well. What we're seeing is you know, now the, the relationship between a data supplier and a customer is closer than ever because I'm not buying this FTP-based, you know, file that's being delivered to me in whole and I've got to, now I've got to write a bunch of code to integrate it. Instead, what we're seeing is I can have a much richer experience with my data providers. They can customize their deliveries on my Snowflake account or on my Databricks account. It's a much nicer, richer experience and it's a little bit more economical as well.